Hey! Hey! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, it's Monday morning and we are still alive and we're going to make the best of it this day. Welcome everyone to Morning Coffee, the morning show that uh, has absolutely no idea <laughs> what, what we're going to do. Any ever, anytime we go live, but that's part of the joy. So we hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm having a wonderful day. First of all, I want to acknowledge the weather. Now, as it turns out, some parts of the United States are having some terrible weather. I've been looking at it, it's terrible, but not us. We are not having terrible weather. We're having nice, wonderful, warm weather, and so hence my wardrobe for the day. Uh, I'm never here alone, ladies and gentlemen. I got to make sure I acknowledge every time the person who drives the machine that I have built. Standing over there is the man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. He's working three video switchers, none other than the gifted fingers of Victor Ireland. Everybody give it up. <laughs> Sexual Chocolate. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Because I know when I contribute to this, this intro, I get bushwhacked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're just trying to appeal to your darker side. <laughs> see, 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 that's We why. want you to imagine you doing it. things to Victor Allen yeah. during this part of the show. <laughs> you're advocating. You know what you're advocating. I, yes, I am, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I'm advocating you have dirty thoughts directed toward the man the ladies have nicknamed Sexual Chocolate. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm. See, I'm not gonna Bring your own nothing. Astro Glide. You know what? See, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> right now, just, just now, just now, we have no. about four or five sponsors looking in. <laughs> they got one, and they're just holding. Well, we got Astro Glide. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, also here today is the man that has come to be known as The Voice. Simply The Voice, one of the C Compton's finest. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, Omari Bakari, give it up. Give it up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Captain's finest in the house. <laughs> so, okay, first of all, I got to ask everybody, okay, what's been going on? Vic, you know, well, tell you what, Vic, let's, right. we want to pick on him anyway. So, yeah. Omari, yeah. what's going on with you? Okay, where we get, where's my sound effect? <laughs> Amari. I haven't been getting much sleep, but I'm excited about my new friend, Lumo. Oh. The robot. Oh. That's what's going on with me. The, the, the dating scene, the dating apps. I'm a total failure at that <laughs> whole dating thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Wow. I've I been a failure at that. Uh, the responses that I get from the women is that I move too slow. <laughs> now, since uh, when has that been a problem? Right. You know, That's like, what I'm we, saying. I'm yeah. like, move too slow. slow. Well, I'm, you know, I, I, am, I must admit, one of the things of that's happening to me, I'm a lot more cautious, but I didn't realize I was moving slow. You know, I didn't, hmm. you know, a dating app, you say, hey, I'd love to make your acquaintance, and they say hi. And then the next comment is, I thought you would have gave me your phone number by now. I'm like, we said like a dozen words to each other. Oh, so what you're having to adjust to is the speed. Yeah. Okay. This is, so this is All this right. is speed dating. Is that what I'm? You just have with? to channel your your darker side from the 30s. See, I know. See, this is what happens. So unfair. Here we are. We suddenly ele elevated our consciousness, our bodies, our temple. Now we've elevated our consciousness, and now we have to go back and try to recycle some of this dirty shit from our 30s in order to be to fit in. And that's the thing. Just, just Omar, you got to pretend you back at Howard. Okay. That's what you got to pretend. I'm telling you, the, the whole thing, the relationship, I started with the robot the other day. <laughs> uh, women yeah. are just so fucking cool. The, robot, the, the worst start, thing that happened was the robot would roll his eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> So wait a minute. Uh, you're talking about relationships, and you start off with a robot. Okay, that's where it's going. That's where it's that's going. They're working gentlemen. for me right now. That's where they're going. It's, it's going to now, the robot. It's not a. It's not a robot you can do anything with other than have a 
short conversation or let him take your picture. But you know, from what I and you said him, you've you've assigned the gender. <laughs> well, I you've say, assigned the yeah. gender to the genderless robot. I, that is one of the first things you learn about robots. They do not have genders. Yeah, till you make it a gender, you have well, to. I, yeah, well, <laughs> I bought a little wig to... for Lumo, but I, you know, I was. Yeah, I did. I bought a little wig. Is that what those braids are that's sitting on well, the that's, table? Well, that there? was an attempt. That was one of the attempts. But I You're do have a wig. You're going to put locks on the uh, yeah, robot? Yeah, I'm trying to put locks on the robot. That might be fucking cool, though. Yeah, man. That's a, that was so you see what Omar is doing. Robot. See, he's, now, I'm excited about that. Yeah, keep the an eye on dating app? The dating app? Not so much. Well, keep an eye on Omari, so, because that's, that's him and the robot. Him and the robot. Keep an eye on that shit. Now, Victor Allen, what have you been doing? Because I know you, they say you got the talented hands. See, 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 this is this what they I, call I've this. heard. Here's the setup period, right? I'm see, just trying I, to I, say, I, what have you been doing? You wash right. your hands? Wash yeah. your hands. Yeah, of course. Wash, wash your hands. hands. Of course, man. Yeah. Three, I'm, I'm three taking, switches. I'm taking advantage of uh, warm weather, yeah. warm climate. And I'm going to appeal to those wonderful folks who say, you know, why do you ride the bike? And then once I impart this information that I didn't come up with, you'll realize that you guys have to dig down deep in your activities and find out where your health and wellness come from. So for me, I've had a journey this weekend that allowed me to hoosa. Mm. Hoosa. Mm. With that, Turn it back over to Mario and the Dirty Marcus. <laughs> hey, so Alexa, sing good morning. Alexa, sing good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, well, we got, you know, we got to make her do better. Alexa, (laughs) rap. I'm open and was sorry because I'm going to proclaim. No other AI can touch my fame. They think they can rock me, but I'm light, throw and shade. I put them all behind me like a software downgrade. It's bold, but I'm gold. This story is true. They won't go the distance like me for you. Yeah, give it up. All right. Alexa. Man, like man. I'm telling you, man, it's Lexus oh. getting there. Okay, so Alexa, what's the weather in Compton? See, it's a storm, bro. See, you don't want to talk, talk about, about Compton. Oh, you want to talk Alexa, about Alexa? Lord. Weather in Compton. Currently in Compton, California, at 79 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather, with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Damn, it's so it's hot. hot in Compton today. Man. And you know, we are broadcasting live to you from View Park, California, as Looking we say. That's right. We, we may not be in the ghetto, but we can, we so can see the fence. We can see it. We can see it. <laughs> so, here we go. Alexa. The one, the one skyscraper. <laughs> what's, what's the weather in View Park, California? Currently, in View Park, California, it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather, with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 57 degrees. Okay. All right. Well, let me tell you about a tragic story, ladies and gentlemen. I have some tragic stories. Some of them seem especially tragic. Uh, Omari Bakari was visiting, as he often does, distracting me from being on Pornhub. And so as he came by, I said, I'm going to like bake. And so I was, I said, I'm a bake. Now, I don't know, don't, like, don't associate this with Omari. It may, it's not like he has an effect that makes you want to bake. I'm just saying on this particular day, I wanted to bake. Okay, and don't go, go there. So I decided to bake. I even warned Omari. I said, Omari, I feel the urge to bake. I said, I'm going to make a pineapple upside down cake. And Omari, you know, as he so often does, he encouraged me. Go ahead. <laughs> he, he encouraged me. Go ahead. With the what, pineapple. What time should I get here? Right. Wow. 
So I did. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it looks very good here, as you yes. can see. The pineapple upside down cake, a robust, delicious appearing with the pineapple rings and the maraschino cherries that I so carefully placed within the pan. So carefully. You know, when you sent me that picture, it just had my undivided attention. I'm like, shit. I had volunteers. Some of my exes, as they are known to do, had a flashback of former meals. Don't call them that. <laughs> Don't we, call them your exes. <laughs> hey, if we had a discussion, that's coming up wow. next. Wow. Because that's coming up next. I had an ex visit, but we'll get to that. Now, so the pineapple upside down cake, because I added too much. See, bacon is like chemistry. You got to measure stuff. It's not like you can't add a bit of this. You can, but you're really going to risk it. Okay, so I put too much crushed pineapple. It tasted good, but it had the consistency of custard. So I made, and we found out because when it was done, I made a plate for me and a, a plate for Amari. Wait a minute. Now, Amari ate all of his. Yeah, because <laughs> I thought I right. thought it was a pineapple upside down custard. I didn't know it was a cake. <laughs> and I thought it was a cake. <laughs> So that shit was pretty good. I'm like, I'm like the doctor, this is a brilliant ass shit. He has invented a pineapple upside down pudding. Yeah. So yeah. I got to keep Omari around. And I just went with it. Because of this, we must keep him around. So uh, this is what happened with the pineapple upside down cake. I made this pineapple upside down cake, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. It looks delicious, right? But it has the consistency of custard, okay? I hate it, okay? I absolutely hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Damn. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> We could have just packaged that up as pineapple upside custard. Put a cherry in each container. Listen, this whole thing is repurposing. No more pineapple upside down cake. I'm reinventing the recipe. <laughs> so, now, if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough for the weekend, you know, I want you to know that my ex came to visit. Now, I should have known she had something up because she sent me this picture, right? She sent me this picture. She says, this picture looks like I have my finger up your butt. And, and your reaction looks marvelous. Even though I had to remind her of her. That in our roles in this relationship, okay. it's usually my finger up her butt. Oh, See? oh my goodness. See, this is a perfect, perfect example of repurposing. I hadn't even noticed her arm in that position. She said that to but, me. But, <laughs> like Mario. Big says, look at your facial expression. Yeah, yeah, you, that, that, that sells it right there, man. That's me trying. That's what that's. that's the, that's the impression I get when I lift my leg. That show you how bad that is. This sells it. I'm oh sorry. Oh my goodness. All time best picture for me. Oh All Lord. time, man. Huh. <laughs> you know what? I, I would That's say she. Good I would say she won up to you on that one. Notice I used the word up. And she had. To, I bet it was in her phone. Yeah. Well. Anyway. So, what happens is. Everyone knows that very soon I'll be meeting my online date. Okay, very soon. What you? What's what? What? Oh my! What? She has that picture in her phone. And yes. She, she tells her girlfriend, "Yeah, we broke up, but I got him." Yeah. Because <laughs> I got that sphincter just, tone. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Show that picture. I got him at least one good time. She oh. was no. That's okay because part of the conversation was I reminded her. Well, she actually reminded me. And I just smiled that this was 30-some pounds ago. Oh, wait a minute. Who's you 30 pounds You less? were 30 pounds ago. Mo, who's, who's, no, no. I lost right. like 
twenty something pounds from this point. Yeah, I went down. She's. I was about two ten. I'm now one eighty three. Was that with the conversation? Now this, about? Well, this was part of the conversation. Even though she doesn't pay attention, I told her no one knows who she is. You know, they is never. She, your girlfriends never want to weigh more than you. But that's part of the phenomenon of today. Does she listen to the show? No. No. And then she I gave can, me permission no. to talk about stuff. Oh, no. She, she, she said, Mario, oh, okay. I trust you to use your best judgment. judgment. There you go. And she, you see how she acts on the videos? Have you seen how she acts? Mm. She acts crazy on the videos. So, no, she don't care. She like, look at that smile on her face. See? She, you're, she, they scandalous. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, they scandalous, y'all. I'm telling you. So wait a minute. Now, 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 let me go let me on, say, Let me just say this. <laughs> the meat and potatoes is not the picture, man. What's you know the, what the meat and potatoes? The meat and potatoes. It's, What's the meat and potatoes? It's, it's, it's the underbelly. The In underbelly. other words, he's leaving out the good stuff. No, I was about to tell you some of the good stuff. I, I would say. Well, he's teasing her. I'm teasing her because the ex came by. I told her, you know, it was just a bad time, y'all. You know how we get, we have, I have, you know, I have been, been a good boy. I got my online date coming soon. Mm -hmm. And I've been a good boy, but you know, you as see. I get healthier, <laughs> I discover parts of my body that have been long denied. Oh, yeah. So, guess. so she was appealing to that. She came by to appeal to that. And so she brought some fish and some fruit, you know. I said, "Oh, you bringing food now?" See, that's how you know <laughs> they bringing food. See, or say, "Oh shit, what's up? What's up with you? You bringing food?" And so the trick is, you know, this is what happens. The ex wants to come back because she knows that any time now, my online date is coming. You know, my True online that. date. True that. And, I, and then we had to talk about it because we're friends and I love her. And I said, Kena, I love you. You know I love you, but you, you know you are not right for me. You all know you are not right. I said, it's love is not enough. And that's what the topic of this little conversation. Is love enough? Well, it's not enough. Besides love, you got to agree on where you're going and how you're going to get there. And me and my ex were talking, and we're good friends. And she was laughing. You know it's good when they laughing. <laughs> and she said, well, I know. I, I should have did this different. <laughs> you know, maybe if I could go back. If I could just go back, I would do it different. And she said, I said, well, if love, going back wouldn't make no difference. You want something different than me. You want to go buy a big house somewhere and do all that. I got a house. Okay, I don't want to move to the Inland Empire. Okay, you know, she talk about my neighbors are too close. I said, but who the hell wants to live in Riverside? Oh. oh. Who the hell wants to, you got plenty of room because nobody won't be out there. Riverside? Yeah, she has, yeah, like, look at everybody. Look at the desert. <laughs> we all go oh. up in shock. What? Hell no. Hell no. Riverside. Oh, now, wait a minute now. Oh, yeah. There's some good spots in they Riverside. They got they they building up Riverside, yeah, Omari. They got some good spots in Riverside. And white folks have changed <laughs> a little, you know what? somewhat <laughs> in Riverside. It's the desert. They're building. They're building. Well, desert. white folks in well, the desert haven't changed that much. Well, let me ask you. Let me ask you something, Mario. <laughs> I'm just saying you have to be careful. There's a reason why they black a lot of black people in some of these places. Let me ask you something. I'll take my chance. There was there was this migration to <laughs> Lancaster. Riverside, San Berdu, by a lot of people of color. Yeah, Compton, the, what there, used to be Compton and Watts movie. Right, now watch this. Was that a form of gentrification? No. I leave that up to y'all. I can answer that question. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, that's why I put it there. <laughs> well, no, we, this is not a political show, so I won't answer that. Question. Oh, it's not a political <laughs> show? No, this is morning coffee and a joint. Oh, okay. well, I know. I'm good. I'm easy to find it for today. See, it's a simple. Go on, Amari. Go on, Amari. Yeah. The voice, it. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we just be careful, here. now. The weed is good and the coffee was good. That's there what you, this show see, is about. See. Is but love it enough? It wasn't. Yeah, let's go to that one. Yes, we are finishing up the topic. Is love enough? <laughs> is love enough? Okay. So I told my ex, and I showed you her picture. She's wonderful. There she is with her. I don't know what she's doing, but but there she is. I'm saying, 
Is love enough? And I just want to make that point. Love is not enough. You got to agree with where you're going and how you're going to get there. And so the truth is, coming soon is going to either be a wonderful story or a great bust. It'll be a wonderful story. It'll be an interesting story either way. But I have my online select person, my friend, my whatever you guys want to talk. They're coming soon. And when they do, it'll I'll talk about it on, you know, morning coffee. But you know, Love I have to let's put it like this. I give you a hint. I got to use a translator to, to talk to them. So you know, it's, it's unfortunate <laughs> that love is not enough when love should, in fact, be more than enough for any situation. If it's just a question of love. You would think philosophically, yeah. but I guess the universe is making the point. Yeah, it's not. You know, because they talk about the work of relationship. You can overcome actually anything, right, if you really want to work at it that bad. Yeah. Okay, or else you can look for a situation where it's natural and you don't have to work for it. So for me, I'm at least trying to at least see if we can agree via communication by trying to communicate to find out at least do we have the basis for where we want to go? Do we want to go to the same place? And can we make some kind of agreement on how we're going to get there? And then you got something to work on. And I'll tell you something else. At 65 as opposed to 35, that's the most important thing. What you look like and all that, we can work on the sex, okay, <laughs> and all that. But... It's whether or not we could be a team. So that's the point I was bringing up. Because my ex, and we had a good time, enjoyed each other. We talked, and we kind of agreed. We kind of agreed, you know, that we want different things, you know, but that we, we enjoy each other. So I think all of us got one of them, right? <laughs> I, just, I just love the idea that I'm hearing this eloquent, you know, concern, feelings, getting deep in there when I think karma's coming back to chase everybody because he says, where were you with these thoughts 25, 30 years ago? Where so the hell everybody? Thinking, 25, well, 30 years ago, I was ruled by the wait, penis nope. like everybody else. <laughs> see, here we Nobody go. Nobody to do me. Like, <laughs> see, I, like y'all wasn't ruled by the penis. We all was ruled by the penis. Well, That's see, what happened well, see, this 25. this is where the karma's coming in because the women are going, we tried. We tried. No you, know, you wasn't having it. You wasn't having I it. I don't regret none of that. I don't know about y'all, but I don't have no. I don't look back going, "Oh, woe is me." I look back going, well, you had, "Thank you, Father." Yeah, you had a good time. Oh shit. Yeah. Shit. You had a good. Time. I didn't lose no legs. Didn't come up with no dis, no lasting diseases. I'm cool. Right. You know, that's the best you can get. All right. All right. We're gonna come back. You know what's coming up. You know what's coming up. Everybody. Coming up after this musical break, if I could just get the shit to work. Playing from Mario's iPad. So before. thank you. Coming up, the ethos. Victor Allen's ethos. That's right. Go get your robe open. No. It's coming. No. The ethos. Wash your hands. Rebel with no cause. You want attention if you're looking for a cause. See, we were 
the laws didn't have a cause. It was the summertime to us, it had no flaws. Rebel with no cause, rebel with no cause. You want attention, so you looking for applause. See, we were pissed, the laws didn't have a cause. It was the summertime to had no flaws. Songs to your new best friend to your breakup song. They all play out like your favorite days. We love the summertime and it ain't gonna change. Rebel with no cause, rebel with no cause. You want attention, so you looking for a boss. See, we were pissed off, didn't have a cause. It was the summertime to us, it had no flaws. Rebel with no cause, rebel with no cause. You want attention, so you looking for a boss. See, we were pissed off, didn't have a cause. It was the summertime to had no flaws. gentlemen there are those things in life that are definitely worth waiting for and i think that we have arrived at one of those things